Hello everybody, this is Miss Jen and I've missed you all so, so much. And I was asked to read something to you um, because I do miss you and I'm hoping this might, you know, make you feel better that I'm reading to you. The book that I chose is called I Am Helpful. And right now, mommies and daddies and sisters and brothers all need to be helpful. So this is the book I decided to read. So this is a book called I Am Helpful by Susie Capozzi. It is going to be a great day. Mom and dad are bringing new baby sister home today. She says, I can't wait. I help grandma get the twins up. All dressed, breakfast served, teeth brushed, ready for baby. Grandma tells me that I am helpful. At last they are home. Baby Emily looks bigger and cuter than she did in the hospital. Moms look tired. She looks so happy too. I know what to do. I help dad unpack. So, so even though the oldest sister can't really help mommy and daddy in, in, with the baby too much, she can help in other ways with unpacking, cleaning her room, helping with her older, with her other siblings. While mom rests, grandma shows me how to hold the baby. Sometimes we give Emily a bottle. I even help change her diaper. P.U., she said. And now she's learning how to take care of the baby. So she's now doing almost everything mommy and daddy's do. And she's learning how helpful she can be with the rest of her family. The days fly by. Soon grandma goes here to grandpa, home to grandpa. He's up, it's up to me to be helper for mom and dad. She says, I got this. Sometimes it's all about the baby, Emily. Sometimes it's all about her twin brothers. They can make a lot of noise. And then Emily makes a lot of noise and then Emily makes a lot of noise. I know what to do, she said. And I bet you guys can wonder what she can do to help her family, her brothers and her sister. We can go outside to play to help them get fresh air. And if it's raining, we could stand inside and read. She says, I am helpful. I can be very, very helpful. Sometimes I want it to be all about me. Math can be tricky and mom is really good at it. But Emily is teething, so mom has her hands full, which means she's very busy with the baby. So I want you guys to think, what could she do to get help? Dad is busy too. He's putting the twins' beds together. I figure it out. Helping myself is another way to help all of us. So she found out how to do her math. Maybe ask a friend, her grandparents, or maybe her teacher. We take a trip to visit grandma and grandpa for grandpa's birthday. They're taking a train to go see him. Emily is excited, the baby's excited. She's crawling everywhere. See, she's crawling everywhere. Finally, it's party time and she helps in the kitchen. She's setting the table. She's getting the food out. She's helping. She's finding ways to help. Now it is time to eat the best part. I put Emily in her high chair so she took care of her baby sister. Then I set up her food. What a big, nice big sister she is. She's taking charge. There's so much good food to eat. Everyone is talking and laughing. Emily wants to join in. She has something to say. She blurts out a word. <laughs> it's her first word. Everyone stops eating. We look at Emily. Emily looks at us. She points to me and says, June, which is the older sister. It's the older sister. 
She said my name. She recognizes her big sister because she's such a big help. I love my family. It feels good to help when I can. I am helpful. When do you feel helpful? Can you think of three examples? I know in this time I'm taking care of my niece and nephew with their work. I help my parents if they need groceries. And I'm also trying to just to keep myself happy by coloring, watching TV, walk, taking walks. So I hope you guys can find three things that you're helpful with and I know you guys are helpful. So I would love to hear from all of you. My email address is jgillio, J-G-I-L-L-I-O at franklinboe.org, okay? I would love to hear from you and I'm gonna to read to you again and maybe even do some art projects. Love you all, see you soon, bye.